hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm kelsey uh kilo's not here i don't think Kilo will be in this vlog at all today is victoria's massive pride celebration there's the parade and then the festival so i'm really late uh, i plan to be out the door by like nine it is 10 to 11 now and of course they're gonna be stopping traffic on a certain road that i need to get onto so i'm hoping that i make it before they actually close it but if these cars you know would like you know cheat a little bit like just go yeah i may have done something a little illegal oh a little fat dog the only reason i didn't bring keila is i'm volunteering today so but i realized that my shift is after the parade so i can watch the parade and it's kind of a cloudy day so it shouldn't be too too hot which is good because they give us t-shirts to wear and a sweat when I wear t-shirts. We're definitely not moving very fast. I think I'm gonna have to rethink how I'm gonna get there. This is so stressful. Why didn't I wake up earlier? But just go. Detour. Great. Forgot to bring my little handheld tripod, so it might be a little shaky. Apologies. 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 Oh, I am so excited. I feel like I'm gonna be around my people. Oh, and it's actually beautiful weather. Like, yes, it's cloudy. It's not the nicest looking. Oh, look at these bags under my, oh my God. I may have gone to bed at 3 a.m., which is probably why I didn't wake up on time, which is, I think though, I had some anxiety about being in a big crowd, volunteering with people I don't know. The anxiety was was high so I couldn't sleep but I'm excited now I have a few hours that I can just kind of hang out see what's see what's around wait for the parade
guys. I hope you enjoyed watching some of the highlights from Victoria Pride 2019. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my Pride experience, this being my first major Pride. Anyways, I had the best time volunteering. I was surrounded by so many amazing, unique, special people all day long, interacting with people all day long. It was wonderful. And as corny as it sounds, I honestly feel like I left Pride changed a little bit. And like one thing that really sticks out is for the first probably about an hour that I was volunteering, we weren't that busy. So it was just kind of looking around, taking everything in. And I couldn't, I honestly couldn't help but think like, holy shit, like all of these people are so beautiful. They all were. Their, co their costumes, their outfits blew my mind. Just absolutely blew my mind. Amazing. Like I said at the beginning of this vlog, I truly felt like I was with my people. Like, it sounds a little strange, but I, I felt so at home and like that's, that's, that's my people. It was such a nice change too, because there weren't angry people. There weren't upset people, despite it raining. People were not anticipating rain, but their spirits were still high. They were all happy. The only person I saw upset was this one and a half year old who accidentally popped their balloon. That was it. So I just feel like it's such a good place to be. <laughs> such a happy place where you can like be yourself and no one is gonna say unless it's yes, girl. <laughs> Overall, like it's just a friendly, safe, chill environment. And of course, like I got there early, so I realized that it was the end of the parade route, like right there. So there were still lots of sidewalk left so I just picked a spot and that's where I watched the parade from and there's people going around of course handing out free things and candy and stuff and there's one woman I just saw like she was kind of weaving in and out from people in the sidewalk and she just seemed very like you're getting this you're getting this you're getting that like very matter-of-fact like who she was giving these things to and so that was kind of interesting to watch and then she walked up to the woman beside me and went to hand her this little square card thing and then kind of looked at me and smiled and handed it to me so I was like oh okay sure why not <laughs> and so I read it and I don't know it's such a weird feeling that came over me I'll explain after but I truly believe that everything happens for a reason so anyway <laughs> the card that she was handing out it says a love and a hug for you and on the inside it says, from pewter picks and the pewter pen, three facts about you. You matter, you are lovable, you are worthy, with a heart. And it was interesting, because like as soon as I read it, I, I, I literally felt like a wave of calm and like, <sighs> like I've just let something major off my shoulders. Like it was such a weird feeling, but I was so calm, I almost cried that's what I do and but I didn't and yeah I, over, the, over the past few weeks like my mood has been very up and down I've been very moody stubborn my emotions have been all over the place like it just hasn't been a very good time and I don't really know why I don't know what was really frustrating me or upsetting me really no idea I was just taking it out on people who didn't deserve for it to be taken out on and so like to receive this, it was almost like that's what I was, I was waiting for some sort of validation, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of weird to say that, but I don't know, I, I just felt calm, I felt great, and I'm still a firm believer that everything happens for a reason, and I was meant to read those words, and it's definitely helped me. Which is crazy, like who would have thought a little card with some words written on it could like touch someone so much? Like that is pride for you. The magic of that. But I definitely do feel now that I'm starting a new journey. I don't really know what kind of journey or where it's gonna go, but a new chapter has started and I'm so excited to see where it goes. It's a little crazy that like these small gestures and like conversations that I had with people during Pride and the messages and stuff that I read on signs and pamphlets and, and stuff that people were, were handing out and I guess the bigger picture conversation, it opened my eyes to some things that I had been feeling 
but not fully understanding what I was feeling or thinking. And now I am realizing that I have some work to do on myself via like self-discovery or however you want to put it. And even though I'm almost 28, I believe it's never too late to discover who you are or even rediscover who you are. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this new chapter. And if you're interested in following along on this crazy journey and life of mine, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And I think I said that Kila wasn't going to make an appearance in this vlog, but I didn't anticipate filming this part of the vlog at home. So I guess she can make an appearance. Come here, baby. Oh, good jump. For any of you who are new here, I'm Kelsey, this is Keela, and we're just two weirdos trying to navigate this crazy thing called life and filming a little bit of it as we go. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll be seeing you next time. Bye, guys.